In this video, we will review the basic configuration of devices with our AirConfig tool. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the AirConfig basic interface, you will know how to query devices and set the RSSI filter, how to read and update current device configuration, and will know how to save your configuration and device settings. Before we get started, you will need your USB stick, specifically programmed by Magnum Energy Solutions. We will be completing this video in the basic AirConfig mode. As you open up basic mode, you will see a series of data columns. Starting from the left, the driver column lists all of the device types you can access in the AirConfig tool. The device column is where the devices that are in radio range will be listed. The device configuration column is where you can configure specific device settings. Below the devices and the device configuration columns is where you will see a simple history of all the communication actions occurring during your session. Finally, the sensors column in the far right contains all Inotion-based sensors in radio range. We will go into further detail about the sensors in a later training video. We are going to start with the list of devices in the driver column. In this column, you will need to select the type of device you would like to access. We will be accessing thermostat devices. When you select the driver, you will notice nothing has changed. This is because we will need to query devices in order to see all devices within radio range. To do this, you can right-click on the driver you would like to query and select Query Devices. A shortcut to this would be left-clicking and pressing F11. We have three devices that have appeared in our device column, sorted by signal strength. You may see more depending on the devices that are within your current radio range. If you'd like to limit your view to a larger or smaller radio range, select RSSI in the upper right corner and adjust the max RSSI smart sensor setting to the range you prefer. In this example, we will adjust it to negative 65. We now only see devices that are below the max signal strength. Next, we will move on to the basic device configuration. The device configuration tab will always show the factory default configuration settings for the device. If you are updating an already configured device, you will need to run a read configuration command to bring up the previously set configuration. To do this, left click the device you are configuring. The window that pops up is the read configuration command. You do not need to worry about keys at this time. We will discuss them in a later video. For now, select yes. If you happen to select no, you will not be prompted by this window again. To manually read configuration, right click on the device and select request configuration. The device configuration column has now been updated with previously configured settings, and it is safe to continue with any updates. The device is now highlighted in blue. This means that the device is in learn mode or is locked from anyone else accessing it to change any settings. This mode is active for five minutes or until you manually end it. Once you have completed your updates to the configuration, go back to the device in the devices column, right click and select send configuration to update the device. You will know that your configuration has been successful when the device is highlighted in green. Please note, if for any reason your learn mode times out and your device is highlighted in red, you will need to clear the query and go through the process again to reinitiate learn mode. Finally, you are able to save your configuration and device settings for use with other device setup. This is a helpful tool when you are setting up multiple devices with the same configuration or to back up and restore a device. As a reminder, if you are trying to access configuration you have set up in previous sessions, you will need to request configuration of the device before making any updates. We strongly recommend that you make it a standard practice to always request configuration before updating your devices. To access all saving options, you will need to right-click the device. Selecting Save Configuration will save the device configuration you have previously set up in the device. Loading previously saved configuration will allow you to quickly configure multiple devices with the same settings. Another way to quickly configure multiple devices is to use our copy-paste command, using a previously set up device as the template for new devices. You will still need to send the configuration you have loaded to the devices. Selecting Save Device will save not only the device configuration, but also any sensors you have attached to the device. We will discuss what these types of settings are in later training videos. Loading previously saved devices will allow you to quickly restore the settings of a previous device onto a replacement. Selecting Save Device List will save the visible list of devices in the device column. Loading a device list will allow you to see the devices no matter the location, but the radio range will appear differently depending on where you are currently located. 
This concludes the tutorial on the basic configuration of devices using our AirConfig tool. You should now have a better understanding of the AirConfig basic interface, know how to query devices and set the RSSI filter, how to read and update current device configuration, and know how to save your configuration and device settings. Subscribe for more tutorial videos on all of the Magnum Energy Solution product line. And if you have any questions, you can find our contact information in the description below.